Everyone. So today I'm going to be doing my second tutorial, which will be this brown shimmery eyeshadow look with a very dramatic red lip. Um, if you don't like the red lip or if that's just too much for you, you can always just do the eyeshadow look by itself and it'll look wonderful. Personally, I love red lipstick and I'm going to be wearing this look to class today. Um, I have to leave in 10 minutes and we'll probably be late, but that is okay. So if any of you have any questions or suggestions on how I should make my tutorials better, or if I'm not explaining anything, well enough for you, if it's not making sense, just let me know because I want to make these as clear as possible for you guys. Um, this look is perfect for the holiday time, any like family parties or anything like that. So yeah, otherwise I really hope you enjoy this look and to learn how to do it, just keep watching. Alright, to begin this look it is very 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 important that you prime your eyes first. This will help to make sure that your eyeshadows last all day long as well as to help prevent creasing. Next, with a flat shader brush, dip into a light gold shimmery eyeshadow. Apply the shadow to your lids, and it's okay if you go up into the crease just a little bit. Then, with the same brush, take a light shimmery champagne color. Apply this to the inner third of your eyes, focusing on your tear ducts. This will help to brighten up your eyes. Next, with a blending brush, pick up a medium brown eyeshadow. Tap off the excess and apply this color into your crease with a light, gentle, sweeping motion. With a small pencil brush, pick up a dark brown shimmery eyeshadow. Tap off the excess to help prevent fallout and apply this to the outer corner of your eye in a sea-like motion. Make sure to blend this color very well with the medium brown and don't apply too much. We want this to be a subtle effect to help define your eyes, not overpower them. With the blending brush you use to apply the crease color, blend these two browns together. We want this look to be free of any harsh lines. Next, with an angled eyeliner brush, pick up more of the dark brown color. Sweep this under your lower lash line to help create more depth in your eyes. Next, with a clean blending brush, pick up a light flesh tone color. Use this color to highlight your brow bone as well as to help blend out any remaining harsh lines. Be crazy not to fall. Next, with a dark brown eyeliner pencil, line your upper lash line. Don't worry if it gets a little messy, we're going to be going over this with some shadow anyways to blend it out. And don't line all the way to the inner corner, stop about two thirds of the way. With the same angled brush that you used on the lower lash line, as well as the same dark brown color, apply this over your pencil liner. Not only will this help to intensify the color, but it will also smooth out any mistakes that you made. same shimmery champagne color that you used in the beginning, highlight your inner tear ducts to help brighten your eyes. Before you apply mascara, don't forget to curl your lashes. And apply any black mascara of your choice to your upper and lower lashes. are now complete. The look should appear to be very soft, shimmery, and warm. With any dark burgundy lip pencil, begin to outline your lips. Make sure you have already prepped your lips by applying lip balm and removing any dead skin. This will help to ensure that all of our products will go on much smoother. It's okay to take your time and practice with this part. We want the shape of our lips to be as smooth, rounded, and symmetrical as possible, so no need to rush. Also, when you're done outlining your lips, don't forget to fill in the entire surface of your lips with the pencil. This will help to prevent fading from your lipstick. And don't forget to line the inner corners. You don't want to have any light spots visible when you're talking. Take any 
dark brick colored lipstick of your choice and apply it to your lips. It's best to choose one formulated for extended wear because you don't want to have to keep applying it throughout the day. With a small concealer brush and any light concealer, reverse outline your lips. This will help to define your lips and you'll be surprised at the difference it makes. bright red, kissable lips, and beautiful, warm, shimmery eyes. Perfect for the winter season. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!